Hello. And welcome to Sable. This is a game that I've seen and a little bit interested in, so I think we're gonna give it a shot. See how it goes. Before we do that, before we start with that, let's uh, make sure everything's good to go here. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> I think that just about does it. Okay. And here we go. Yeah, we'll start a new game. Very quiet. The design is nice. My shed works. using controllers. Base. Uh, I should head back to camp. Okay. Go. Strange on the animation for when you get stuck, but other button option? Just jump. Okay. I already kind of figured that one out. Like climbing. Oh. Oh, you just climb it. Okay. Okay. And the diamond is our stamina. Got it. Find secrets. Is there fall damage? Secrets or anything. Uh, oh, there's a ladder. Crouching. Hell, the crap. Got it. Camp. That was the front door that was kind of closed off. Okay. 
for me. Okay. Sprinting. Need a sprint. Okay. There's some stamina. Janie smiling behind her mask. Just as I know, she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind Ma. I'm nervous. She's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. No, you have nothing to worry about, don't you? What am I... I'm not sure what I'm worried about. I shrug. Any, attap any attempts to act casual. Movement is jerky, and I don't think of it. Little short. I don't know how you are. I know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you start it. Act. You've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You didn't even let me put you on the seat. You're so afraid. Hands were like little claws. Feel the memory. Then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman. Wonderful to win. Suddenly, there you were. Sat down, leaned forward, those little grasping claws on the handles. You were off. I remember thinking just watching you. Hair over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. And I'll meet her. And you can. Get breath. Take a breath. Uh, I don't know where to start. Katie's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. Tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. Chuckle. Oh, I can help with that. I need to talk to Hilal and Driss. You should already have made the arrangements for your bike. Hilal will share something. Well, let's just say as useful as it is fun. <laughs> I might suspect what JD's saying. I stay cool. That I suppose will see you off. Choose the wrong path. I asked JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right one. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Ibexy. But the truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what. Happy. Whatever you decide do so with my blessing so don't try to use try using me as an excuse to come home early okay? she knows now go speak with hello i'll be there to see you all and speak with Triss as well I told him to arrange your bike with sizzo but you know how he is got a compass i have something to give you a compass to help you on your journey it's the same one i used on my gliding an artifact I'd say Take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted, each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on. It's been nearly time. Left. Compass. Okay. That's an interesting one. And you look at the compass while you run. Hello. Post box. Hello, Sable. No messages. Have a good day. Alright. Let's go over here since we're empty tent. What is this? We talk to Hillal. Hello. Enthusiastic wave. Always appreciate it. Hillal's verve and on a day like this, I'm ready to match. The touch of nerves for this. Gliding stone. Okay. Horns. Does have horns. Sable, take this. Al hands me a small, round stone. 
As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth, not borrowed from Hillel's hands, but emanating from thin. I rub my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I gotta sound less confused than I am, but ask Hillel, what is this? Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? But I feel... Do I feel... Felt heat. Electricity? Then you're doing it right. What are you feeling? That stone is openness. Okay. That's vague. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lighting stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges. Hold it there. For you to channel. Okay, the perpetual. Is that like an energy force of the game? Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do that. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. We'll be able to activate it there. We see temple canyons in there? Maybe? That direction, I guess. I don't see any ruins. They all claps their hands twice and bobs them. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. What, are we going on an adventure? Just, just to, for the stone? I'm about to leave, Hill stops me. Oh! You haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember JD's words, and now, until Hill Hall, I'll go and see Driss. Thank you. Quest log. Activate the fighting stone at the altar. Cool. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to sprint, but that's B. Gravity must be pretty low on this planet. In this land. What's this? What are you? Oh? Sun going down? That's neat. Oh, the shadow go over the land. That's cool. Ibex camp. Hello! Well, I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately. Now, I strongly suspect that he's been working on the bike in secret. My bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. Let's find out. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Just turned with a bit of a start. Sorry, Driss. Sable! Uh, hello. Hello, how are you today? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen in the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea. Just had. Your bike! Yes, of course. Right. Yes. Your bike. That I was meant to... That I prepared for you because today is your... <clears throat> gliding. Yes. Yes, of course. Right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I do have that. Has he forgotten? By which, am I, by which I mean I arranged it for you in a, a, well, sort of a tutorial for you. It's not here? Not exactly. That's because this is part of your gliding. See, Sable, before one can own their bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. You better and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. You forgot our bike. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if I've ever seen one. A test. How will you ever ride your own bike if you haven't uh, tested your riding skills? Come on, Sable, it's part of it. Not convincing. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your company. Okay. Well, 
wonder. Give me a second. I want to see if I can up the camera speed. <laughs> Maybe not that much. Yeah, that's better. All right, accelerate, strafe. Oh, that's fun. And move. Okay. Just steer. Here we go. Sounds kind of fun. We hit A to strafe and it's a toggle. Hmm. Is there a stop? I don't think there's a reverse. There's a get off. Drifting away, slowly. I returned to Driss, who somehow managed to seem caught off guard, despite knowing I was coming. I'm hearing noises to the side, so I'm looking. That was your first pre-glide ride. Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Oh. What do you mean, fires? But surely you don't, you'd notice if you were on fire. Even a little bit. Try wood. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Dress is this bike not dangerous? Um, well... Have you already been by Hillal? <laughs> yes. Uh, am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Halal's got something to show you, too. Uh, help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. As my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike. And I depart for Halal. We already met Halal. Slicing sands. Uh, uh, okay. So... What was it? Bumper? That's that's the bike. I guess we're off to the off to the desert, huh? Hold on, if we open It's the sun was going down, right? So it's dark. <laughs> mm-hmm. There aren't any Ibex in Ibex camp, that's for sure interesting. There is a little bit of something up over there. Not sure what we're looking for there. Alright, this is accelerating. And then... Yeah, there's not really a... Hold on, if we, if we just get off. It does stop, okay. Controls are a little bit finicky. I thought it was push forward to go forward, but it's not. I know what this place is. Can you climb it? We have the ability to. It's a red jump. Hmm. 
this not the ruins? I feel like it's ruined. Let's make our way around. Found our way around. Fun. Okay. So from here is like nothing. Can we make that jump? We sprint. Come on, grab it. Oh no. I don't know if this is the way to go, even. There is something up there. Right location? I don't know. Let's go drive around a little bit. See if we can find something else. The camera doesn't lock behind this, does it? Well, yeah, it kind of does. How much up? No? Okay. More rooms over there. Didn't really see this area. We were looking. It looks like this will be a little bit easier to get to. Probably ask us to do it. Once we power up this uh, stone that we have, we're probably going to ask us to do. Probably get some movement from the other one. Get some movement from upgrading this stone here, charging it up or whatever, and and ask us go, to go to that place we were just at. <gasps> What's that? You? Hello. Oh, Meg. That's weird. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. It must be a good place to deliver these. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Our range. Is it moving? Looks like it's moving. I wonder if that's just a lighting effect or something. Oh no! Well, um, I don't think there's fall damage. Yeah, I'm broke. It's a, it's a ruin, though. I mean, it's all bagly and falling apart anyway. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach.
I've read yes and no. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. Feel your curiosity in the sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Look, my rock. Spring stones. Show hello. Let's say. Show hello. The activated gliding stone. Okay. Um. Press and hold A to glide in midair. Okay. Okay. Gliding bubble. Interesting. How far is it going to take us? See, that's why the floor fell. Oh, you can't. Okay, hmm. There's these platforms up there that I'm wondering if we can get to eventually, but no. It seems as though we can't really get where we need to go. I suppose we can climb walls and stuff, huh? There's a ladder. Okay. Ladder there. We can... A little bit of climbing here. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. <gasps> There's a box. Can I get the camera in a good angle, please? I don't know what we just got. It was 20-something, right? We don't have to use stamina on ladders? Good. That's our exit, but I feel like... The toggle. I have it currently set to the toggle, I guess. Can we make it up there? Oh, 
We did it. And it is daytime again. How quick the shadow moves. Okay, our bike is down there. Let's explore a little bit. We have... Nothing. I think there's a charge on the stone. Are we back to the camp, I guess? Where's all, where do these all go? Weird noises. Don't look like they go anywhere. Oh, there's a there's a little thing up there. I see it. I see you. Yeah. Not, uh, not much for jumps and stuff, huh? For a little bit. There's a thing on top of that rock. I wonder what that is. Bushes, I guess, until they pull up, render in. Hmm. Wonder what you need to drift. Oh, wonder what you need to strafe this thing for. Mechanic in the game. Wonder what it what it's used for. There might actually be Ibex in here. Uh, I think we just have to go look at the little farmhouse that they have. Where did... where did we go? Where... We're at... oh! We're here again. Go look. Is this what they consider Ibex? The look like an Ibex. That one's just spinning. Look at those horns. Hello. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Okay, well, what about this bucket? Want a bucket? Good luck with that bucket! Have fun! Oh, okay, cool.
Hmm. Let's make your way around to the other side, I guess. Find the lol was what we needed to talk to you. So, get the bike back to. Where is it? The thing is. Oh, it's over here. Hi, do you want your junker back? Here, here you go. You can have it. A series of increasingly big questions. Okay. to be getting called. Glider instead of Sable or even Clan Trial. I'm trying to get you used to it, okay? He seems to really like it, maybe too. Hey, little Glider. Allow! Allow, come here. Look what I found. What I did. What is this? What's in the... Oh, okay. Hi! <clears throat> When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them, but... Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? <laughs> Exciting. True freedom. Strange. A little queasy. Or safe. Strange. It feels strange. Something a bit disorienting about it, that I haven't quite understood how best to use it. Well, don't worry about that. There's plenty of time, and before long, you'll be floating off cliff sides with Im impunity. Is that, is that good? Trust me, you're gonna love it. Allow's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much. That feeling, just floating on the breeze. But, I suppose it's best that it fades with age. Else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there. Eating myself into chasms. <laughs> Is that really what you would do? Why not? If I had the power, why not use it? I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes really serious focus. He laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still. I suppose the gladding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? Think about that. Just decide that there's already too much loss in my mind. Consider it. Then goodbye to my clan. Family. My home. Childhood. Lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. Thank Halal for their advice. Their help. Tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over if <laughs> it'll be over before you know it. Warning and a reassurance all in one. Say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures toward the tower. It seems Zizza wishes to see me clan. Okay. This is what it's a test. The tower. That. Hello. Like his shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking. What do, what, how do, what, are you, what are you whistling to? You look at it. I don't know how she's done it. I don't let, that's a Larry over there. Speck in the distance. Way up there? Or off in the distance? Speck? No, oh, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just parenting. 
I also know more about that when I'm older. Yeah. Well. I don't know who you're looking at, because you were looking at a wall. Up the tower we go. is an outclanner to the Ibexi. But I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. I think of her more as a kind of <clears throat> distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Sizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous gav <laughs> nervous othering of those who are unlike us. Okay. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And always pleased that Sizo did. Sable! <clears throat> Ooh, got something in my throat today. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Now that I'm getting a bike, bike, where are you? Getting a bike? This has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I always torn between pride and alarm when I managed to make her chuckle. Yes! Jaddy told me how excited you were. Sizzo sniffed. And she also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together. I think he may have... He knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her. I was just <clears throat> clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might just be just as scattered. Besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. Oh. Technically, shouldn't Driss do it? Well. I'm gonna make my own hoverbike? Yes, as if I'm expected to make my own hoverbike. No, you're not going to make your hoverbike. You're going to build your own hoverbike. That doesn't. Cut. Of course. Make suggests you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. The Navigator. This is the Navigator. Use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. This is where it might start from. Our bikes are reborn and the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there in I don't see a ship down there. Can and another one up on that great rock on the other side of the canyon, and another behind the old dam on the hill. You should navigate and mark that down if you need. We need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Do most gliders make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones. Oh, that's such a cop out. Until says, well, I'll see you soon. Now head off and search. Together we'll create something new out of the old. Okay. All right. Navigate. Uh, huh? Big rock. How far does this go? I'm. Putting what that I'm gonna place a marker there. Come come back. Come back. There we go. Place a marker there, I guess. Go. 
Find something else. Where's... Where do we point the other one? It was over here somewhere? It was over here somewhere. I'm not sure where. The one there. That's it. One down here. Hi, Driss. You, uh, forget my bike? Uh-huh. Where, where was this? Linked it off in this direction. Oh. There's nothing of use to be found. Another person starting Sable. How are you liking it so far? I'm... Uh, you know what? We're just getting started. Not quite sure. The controls are a little bit strange, but uh, we'll figure it out. Notice the blinking light flashing on the dash. <clears throat> nothing of use to be found on the ship, but I noticed the blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Alright. Where's the button? Voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. Sounds like a recording. Barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute. Alright. Sorry, Robin. Concentrate. Don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there'd be hell to pay. Hear the sound of mechanical adjustments. Six buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay. When I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Robin. Sound of a click and a loud grunt, but snapping. Oh. Rohana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static. A low rumble gradually increases in pitch. Then the sounds of someone... It worked! We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay. Let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Robin? Let me check the machinist notes. Machinists or mechanists? Long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Robin! That lever! Toma! The one you just ripped out! We're going too fast! We're going to crash! We need to try to... The recording cuts off the... buttons and lever. <laughs> kind of looks like machinist, but it could be mechanist. Oh, uh, when I look at it again, I'll see if I can. You're looking for a calibrator. Immediately on guard. Simon has always been a mischief maker. Taking tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. Theory? I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. Practice? You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never. Never. It never fails to get to me. May I please have it? I decided to be gentle and ask her... May I please have it? Please have it. Mimics me ter- oh. <laughs> May I please have it? Mimics me terribly. All high and screechy, despite my best efforts, I see. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. Simon laughs off my irritation, but I'm going to give her the satisfaction. Not going to give her the satisfaction. Cross my arms and try to effect a change. 
I'll give you the calibrator. Put my hand out of myself, standing tall before saying, If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want? I'll try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator. Or acquiesce. Then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in camp know where I can find some. Well... Okay. So, I'm guessing that something happened on this ship, and uh, this is like the back half of it. We should probably do whatever we did in the other half, or part, it's multiple. Well, while we're doing that, let's go, uh, get some stuff. Woo! Where, where did we go? This way, the big rock. Do the ring. Didn't do anything. It's all glowy and stuff, but it didn't do anything. Rock. Oh, well, there's a... Okay, up there. I see it. That's part of the ship, I guess, huh? Now I see it. I looked at that before, but it didn't like anything. Okay. Let's, uh... Can we plan a route here? Obviously need to get up there. The way we do that is, uh... I feel a bit backwards, I think, but... Give it a shot. We make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, barely. I tried jumping on the other side earlier. Doesn't look like we can get up there. Let's try this again with the gliding thing now. Have it. Okay. Yeah, that makes it significantly easier. <laughs> Ooh, almost fell down that. This kind of has uh, the same sound effect that uh, Tesla Grad did. Oh. Oh, neat. Okay. I didn't even put that two and two together to do that, but. What are we doing now? Across to the other side. Is the sun coming up? Or is that a moon? That must be a moon. Where's the sun? These are getting brighter. Power supply in here. We can make it out of that. Oh, we can. Uh, 
I'm down. No, not all the way down. I don't want to climb the wall. Just climb up here. There. Oh. Yeah, we can be. trying to go. I don't see anything. That's alright. Watch if I jump down. There's something. There's got to be something up there, isn't there? Nobody puts a giant rock on a map for you to, climb, for you to not climb it. Right? Maybe we'll find out later. And now we got to go find that other... Ooh. Just like Halal said, launching yourself off ca into crevasses. Whatever he said. Cavus. Cavern. Yeah. He said something. There's always something. Yeah. There's always something on the top of the giant platforms that you can climb. There's always something. Uh, where's our next location? Over here? Go look at the dam and see where who we can find. This thing is kind of slow. Monster Hunter, you can't jump up ladders and stuff. Hmm. It's the, uh... Orange thing in a lever. Hmm. <laughs> was a lot. Uh, no, don't. These noises. Okay. Um, so do need some verticality to get over there. Is I guess where all this comes from. And this ex this stuff exists. It's like Breath of the Wild. Just launch ourselves. Okay. I'm anything. it would just be sitting out. Oh. Well, make it harder, game. Hmm. 
Also, if that's... This is a, a ship of some sort that came out of space. Why would the power cell be on the... I'm, you know what? came for we got what <laughs> we came for what we got aren't any levers to pull over here Did you get up over there <laughs> Feel like I cheesed it. Um, I'm gonna do it again. This is uh okay. All right, we can get him. This heartbeat do we? A, a stone? Oh hey. Hello. Always something, right? Oh Meg. A strange enemy, for sure. Okay. Uh think we're gonna make that? Get up there, see what that is. Looks like a... Oh, what do you... Words are difficult, I guess. Trying? Like a shrine. Might have been a mistake. Stuff from a shrine? Yeah, I was. I mean. Yeah. They don't need it, right? Maybe whoever put that there. Uh, you know what? When, uh, when they come back and they check that, see that it's open, be like. <gasps> They did need it in the afterlife. That's exactly what they're going to think. They're not going to think somebody came by and stole it. Not at all. Just created a new religion? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you do. Make things seem mysterious and then you basically say, no, 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 no. It happened because of a deity or magic or monster -y. I saw a ladder over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, 
Oh, it's blue. All the color fades when it's nighttime. That's kind of neat, actually. Um. Alright. Whoa. Hey, camera, can you stay? Thank you. Come on, climb it. Hey. How many of these do we get? What do you do with these? Four of them. They are the best item. They are cute! And they turn into eggs. wonder if they, uh... Find out. We'll find out what they do at some point. We're exploring. Vines tell me to climb that way. Vines tell me to climb this way. This looks too... normal. Way to go. Yeah, look at that. Upside down, even. Yeah, see. We go the dangerous way. a lot of this area than I did. I want to come back to this area now. Uh, yeah, I think we're just chilling, relaxing, trying to explore what we can. Off track, but not in a productive way. I think we're just having fun. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. There's a wiggly something over there. Are those beetles or spiders? What is this? climbing in this game. Can you make it up this? Come on, you can do it. Come on, Sable, get up there. Yeah. Nice. Well. Oh, there's a pot over there. We'll jump down. Hi. Ooh. They look like beetles. I wonder if we can catch them. How do we how do we catch them? That's next. They're going to hurt us. Oh, they run away. I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Come here. Come here. Hiding. 
What's the matter? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go eat it. No, no, no. Go eat it. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Thank you. I don't know how many, uh, Taima? Is that their name? Taima? I don't know how, they might, how many they want, but... I'm gonna get a few. Let's go. I turn my back for one second. Basically, gonna harvest all of these things. Yeah, run over there. Oh, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Look at it. Turn around. Come here. I didn't need no stinking people to tell me what to do. I found it all on my own. Okay, you can go away. I don't know how many beetles they want. Let's go find out. I didn't know that was there. I was just going to jump off the edge. Nice though. Grab that egg thing. There's some. There's got to be something on top of that, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can jump over there with a bubble and their bubble. Jump over there with a bubble. I'm to the top of this thing. Can we? Float down. The point where you can uh, maybe. You can do it. Oh. Okay. Where? Where's my reward? Hello? I made it up here. Where's my reward? Fine. Hmm. Okay. Get back to our bike. Bonus ledge, right? Uh, go back to where we were. Find oh, my calibrator. The medics can't. Whoa! Whoa! Relax there. Thanks for coming by. I'll, uh, it's been, it's been fun so far. Thanks for the follow. You're seen and appreciated. Come on back anytime. I go 
go. Dunboyne, the wind tower. Chums is written crudely on a sign. Okay. Northwest Burnt Oak Station. Okay. Ooh, look at that place up there. Well, uh, you ran off over here. Are you over here? Let's find out. How do we... Ah, is there just a... Whoa! Just a way off. Over here? Way up this thing? I'm gonna get these for sure. Right. Well... We're gonna do a little bit of climbing and jumping, I suppose. Come up here, jump over there, climb up that. Hmm? Night time cometh. Ah, hello. Where did our, uh, where did our friend go? Just missing? Go back to the camp and see. Little rocks, even. Isn't this the hover bike? I would pass right over that road. Apparently not. There you are. What are you doing? And Sima the Beatles, but rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. Oh, don't cry. Am I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you'll never come back. Well, Ooh. all right. Put your hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. You might visit again someday. Tell Simon that Yara will likely visit one day, just as if, as will I, if I ever. Ever I should choose another clan. Oh. Ooh, sometimes English is hard. How will you find us? We'll have moved on and moved a million times by then. I offer that I will always find the Ibexi, no matter what. Please don't go. I tell Simon not to worry, but I'll be back sooner than she knows. I'm sure she, or she pouts behind the mask. I add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, then... She'll be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? Good. I suppose I can come see you off. Thank you. Say goodbye for now. Well, what's our quest? Deliver the parts to Sizzo. Alright. Give me the ladder. Not you. Go up to Sizzo. Are you any messages? Hi. 
It's been a full day and I haven't got any messages. It must not be popular. Fine. Hmm. Sizzo, you've been standing up here for like three days. Here. I return to Sizzo with the parts and its. Parts and its. It is as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again? Once I'm gone. Well done, Sable. Yes. This is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? ready. Let us head to the workshop. Woo! Here we go. Max is in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily. There's a certain calm beauty. One truly, only truly appreciates when Sizzo is in her help. Wonder if it's this way for all machinists. Machinists? Hmm. What is that word? Anybody? What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together, not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They've always belonged to her. All we are going... All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. Nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Assemble the machine. Not sure how to assemble the machine. Yeah, the machine is like machine. Figured that's what it was, but... You have to ask these questions sometimes. All right, let's see. We have parts and a seat. Fit together, you say. <laughs> Wedding bike front. Neat. Okay. Wedding bike booster. And the power cell. Go in the middle. <laughs> Wings. Okay. Those are ready. Listen. Zo tilts her head a moment, getting closer to Sai Moon. Well, once I know the hoverbike's name, Sai Moon. I say it in a whisper to let Sizzo know. Sai Moon. Sai Moon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? You should ask yourself. Sizzo looks entirely serious. Like, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean in close. Tell Simon that I am eager to know her better. Sizzo looks quite proudly at the both of them. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. From you? Not a blessing, perhaps, but Sizzo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone this... That it was meant quite sweetly. Got it. You must learn to listen to Simon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whisper. Oh, here. Take this. It's a machinist badge. 
Give me plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. Thanks, Sizzle, twice for good measure. And give a bow. I'm ready. Okay. Well, um, can I have it now? Oh. I can't have it yet? Is it not ready? I, I put it, I assembled it. Can I have it? I guess not. Daddy, Sable, that cartographer landed his balloon while you were away. You should go speak to him. See if you can get a map. I nod. I get to go, but Jitty gestures me back and puts something in my hand. Here, some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely. Then, a little unwisely, the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. Thank Jaddy if seriously. Use it, please. And head out on my way. All right, let's go, uh, here. Uh-huh. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Just run up the stairs, I guess. We'll jump off the top. Assassin's Creed. So, loading the bottom. A weird milking mask. Got a weird mask there, but the balloon was more fun than the person in it. Uh, well. I know who you are, I guess. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at me, a great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? <laughs> longingly? <laughs> Clarify that I was looking curiously, but the balloons aren't exactly my ideal vessel. The newcomer shrugs. Fair enough. I suppose when you can ensconce yourself in a peaceful little bubble and float down from the sky, the balloon loses some of its charm. But I'll accept your curiosity. Keep the balloon an approving nod. But he doesn't feel too bad. Well, good to meet you. And, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? Do I need a map? Do stag beetles like flag? Like figs? I almost said flags. I'd say flags. I have no idea. But contextually, I assume the answer is yes. If you're leaving on your gliding sable, you'll definitely need a map of the Ewer. At least. The Ewer, at least. And, and I'll sell you one for only 50 cuts. Is that what they're called? They're called cuts? Sure. Perfect. Let's trade, then. Map of the Ewer. Sold by members of the Cartography Guild. Well, I guess that's what we do. Can't go back up, can I? Just one? Confirm. Okay. Close. Thank you, Dan, for the Ewer map. And all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. 
Ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there. And we'll have more maps to sell you from Koa to the Sodic Waste. Thank Jordan for the chip, for the tip, and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Alright. Can I go in? Can I climb it? Can't climb it. Yep. yep. Alright. Jady about the final gliding ceremony. Okay. Daddy, Jady? Yeah. Here we go. New lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable! Is that a badge you've got there? Sizzle gave it to me. Then you must have earned it. Well done. Give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask... Mask caster. In no time. Okay. Try to think about going to a mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine... Imagine what... Imagine choosing what I want to be. Forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade in for that mask. Don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. Gladding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. Or will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now. Not over now, but it's a butterfly is back in my stomach. All this done, there's only one thing left. Time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door of the Temple Rohana. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask. Go. There are things I wish to convey to Jada here. Steps of love and gratitude and fear. Worry. Though I find myself unable to speak of any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional Ibexi maroon, and I hope to I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Ibexi. You will simply be Sable. The rest will come. No matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end. Where it must begin. I'm ready. Neat. Um, can I have my bike though? I would love my hover bike. What else? Head to the temple to begin climbing. There's a pot over there. See it? Thanks, Halal. I guess I'll be going now. Got anything else to say? There is a great verse that says much about our folk buried under sand. Hmm. Very red. Anything? No. Um, do I have <gasps> you? Put them on. Uh, glider top. Children top. Chill. Uh, browsers. E. Guess we have different masks and stuff too, huh? Clothing. We got three beetles. Best bike parts. Oh, that's that's 
quite the map, isn't it? All right. I suppose we're off. Temple. It's over here. That's it? Okay. Doors are open. Gotta be secrets now, right? No? Hmm. Secrets, I guess. are floating into this door. There's any no secrets in here? We don't want to steal from the temple anyway, right? A lot of noise. It moves. Floating thing. Okay, so there are pressure plates on those. Let's see. Um, hmm. Look around. There's a staircase, staircase over there. Uh, make our way over there, I suppose. Just music, or is something actually moving? There's a bow over there. And uh, there's probably another statue up here, but we'll. Not sure what it is. We have to go dead. I want to go down. Look at all these statues down here. That's kind of creepy. Alright. Make our way up to that one, I guess.
and an arrow. Archer. Hmm. What do we have? We have Bug Dude. Helmet Girl and Archer Air. Okay. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Mask. them horns um how do I get out yeah okay, I guess got ladders my back go don't tell me I lost the bike I was told not to lose the bike and I've lost the bike um we can make our way up and around these things There are some vines going out of the inside of that, so... Climate. 
not claim it? Really? Nothing down there. Hmm. I left my bike right here. Didn't I? Not it. Yeah, I left it right there, and now it's gone. Well, um... He might be a bit angry, but... I have a new bike to get to, so... Mm -mm. Somewhere. Daddy's voice echoes strangely through the machine. That warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. Gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. Far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her arm. Stay forever. I am ready. So I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You're not without family. You're not without love. Things, things, <clears throat> these things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinists at Burnt Oak Station, among the CISO's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge, if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer. So keep an eye on the post boxes. Try not to forget us. Takes a long breath. I forget that thing. Forget that things as easy as breathing ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Thanks, Jetty. <laughs> I'm just gonna run there, I guess. Or walking. Leave the canyon. Uh, I'm supposed to have a bike? Anybody? Oh, what is that? Oh! Look at it! Okay. You can, you can, oh you can, you can push it around. That's neat. She comes when you call. Yeah. Look at this. We bean hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Can I 
we move away, if we go around over here, can I do it? Can you call it from a distance? We're gonna test this theory. Can't see it. it. Sounds cool too. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, it is very smooth. Better than that clunker that we got before. Beautiful. Well. Some air there. I think that's where we're gonna leave it here. We played for a couple hours and got through the first part, I think, so we're gonna leave it here and uh come back next time. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me in the chat and just being here. Experience this and chill with me. And we're gonna call it for this one. See you later.